Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, and this is our Hollywood Studios Day. I know the boys are really excited to do Toy Story Land. We showed them a ton of YouTube videos, so they're super excited, and we can't wait. We're going to try to go early to get a Rise of the Resistance boarding pass, so we can let you guys know what's the best way of doing that. I've watched a ton of videos, so I'm going to try a couple different things. Right now, they're releasing them. You have to be inside the park and they're releasing them at 10 a.m. and then again at 2 p.m. So we want to try for the 10 a.m. There's a couple ways to do it. Online, I've read that you shouldn't rely on Disney transportation as the buses might not start getting you to Hollywood Studios until a half hour earliest before park opening. And by the time you get through security because of the heightened crowds, you might not get into the park before 10 a.m., which is what you want to do. You want to be inside Hollywood Studios before 10 a.m. So I spoke to a cast member at the front desk and he said he highly suggested his foolproof way, is what he called it. He said he's been recommending this to guests since they've reopened since the pandemic and he hasn't had a single guest come back said they, they haven't gotten a Rise of the Resistance boarding pass. He said he tells them to wait outside for the Skyliner, start lining up by 8.45. He said 8.30 to be safe, but 8.45 should still be okay. The Skyliner starts running at 9 a.m. It's a 10 minute ride, five minutes to Caribbean Beach and another five to Hollywood Studios. So a 10 minute ride, plenty of time to get through security, into the park, onto the My Disney Experience app and get that boarding pass. This was also one of the reasons why we rented a car this time. I figured worst case scenario, I could drive myself to Hollywood Studios if the buses aren't running early enough. I know they won't let you through the parking toll plaza until 9 a.m. So you don't want to arrive before then. So you have to kind of time it properly but try to arrive to Hollywood Studios entrance by 9 a.m., get through park and get out front and in line so you can get into the park before 10 a.m. So I think Molly wants to try the Skyliner today. We do have a second day planned for Hollywood Studios later in the trip. So if the Skyliner fails to get us there on time today, we can always drive the second day, but I know she really wants to ride the Skyliner and I do too. So I think that's what we're gonna go for today. We're gonna try to be there by 8.30 and we'll show you guys how it goes. Good morning, you guys. I know Matt came on here already and told you how we were going to Hollywood Studios today. We decided to take the Skyliner today. We got over there by 8.30 and there's about 45 people in front of us, but it already started moving and it's 8.40 now. So we will let you know how that goes and if we like it and we'll catch up with you at Hollywood Studios. <laughs> This is so cool. <laughs> this is so cool. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner. Relax and enjoy the most magical flight on Earth. It's not like overly high though. Yeah. But I'm I saying, like usually I, I don't like these things. I won't not ride it, but it's not my favorite, but it's so smooth and it feels so sturdy. Go faster than I thought though. I did not know this, but I guess you do have to disembark at Caribbean Beach and then get, funny, Mom. get in a transfer line yeah, you're right. That's a to go from Caribbean Beach to Hollywood Studios. Your options from Caribbean Beach are Hollywood Studios or straight carry on to Riviera. And then from Riviera, you can get to Epcot. <laughs> Now we are on our way from Caribbean Beach to Hollywood. Excited for Toy Story Land, Slinky Dog, and the Alien Saucers. Are you gonna see Woody? Yeah. Yes. Coming off of the Skyliner ramp, and the entrance and bear checks are right here. Very convenient. I did not like transferring. I thought, thought that was silly, but this is very convenient and close. I'm glad we didn't drive. It's earlier than 9:20. 
We made it through security. Once again, as you can see, that was a breeze. I am sweating bullets and I somehow passed the temperature check. So those of you that are worried about being too hot and not passing the temperature check, they do have an air-conditioned tent that they put you in to cool off and retest you. And they said they very rarely have someone retest high again. But I just passed and I am dripping sweat and super hot. So no need to worry, I promise. It's 9.30. Now I have heard, the park doesn't open until 10, but I have heard they have started some rides operating on certain days. Instead of people lining up and then just causing long lines, they actually start running some of the rides early. So we're gonna check it out. I also wanna find a good spot that I have good Wi-Fi or cellular connection to give myself the best chance of getting a Rise of the Resistance boarding pass. So we're gonna take a look now. We're gonna to head towards Toy Story Land and see if Slinky Dog or anything's open. And other than that, I'm gonna to try to find a nice quiet spot where I have good service. All right, let's, let's do it. Right now, Matt is getting the new popcorn holder. So it's, it's good at every part. Look, it's the Onward band, and it's a popcorn bucket. Oh, no, 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 don't break it, buddy. Relax. For both you guys. It's from the movie Onward. Both the boys love that movie. Let's it's see. It's a refillable bucket. You refill for two dollars, and this is the lanyard for it. You can wear it around your neck. It's about 9:30 right now. We are headed to the gate for Toy Story Land. We're gonna see what it looks like when we get inside and see if we want to get on anything. But we also are going to see if we can get. What is it? The rise, of the, the rise of the resistance, which goes off at 10. What do you see? What do you see? I see Woody Land. You see Woody? Woody Land? Woody Land. Woody Land. Woody Land. Woody Land. Woody Land. Woody Land. Woody we're in Toy Story Land. They said Slinky Dog is going to have a delayed opening. There's not many people in Toy Story Land as a whole. Everyone's lining up at Minnie and Mickey's runway. They said the line probably now is already about 40 minutes to an hour. Now we spoke to two guests on the bus at Magic Kingdom yesterday. And they said they waited in line first thing in the morning and waited about an hour. And then by the afternoon, before they left the park, they saw that the line was less than 20 minutes, so they hopped in line. So they recommended not going first thing in the morning because that's what everyone does. That the wait time will never really go exceed an hour. So if you wait, it doesn't change anything. If it's an hour, it's an hour. But later in the day, around lunchtime, everyone starts to head to Galaxy's Edge. They try to get that 2 p.m. Rise of the Resistance boarding pass. So afternoon time is the time to ride Mickey and Minnie. So we're gonna test that out tonight. Hopefully we can ride Alien Saucers and Toy Story Mania a bunch because I know that's like perfect for our kids and their age. And hopefully Slinky Dog. Slinky Dog is up and running. It was only delayed for a couple minutes. Molly rode Toy Story Mania with Maddox. I took Grace into the bathroom while they rode it. And then as I came out of the bathroom, they announced that it was opening. So I hopped in line fairly quick while trying to wrangle Grayson and get a Rise of the Resistance boarding pass. We got group 19, says to return in an estimated 80 minutes, but I'm gonna keep checking it to see if it updates. And I'll let you guys know. Just super pumped I got one. Now I can enjoy the rest of the day. That was stressful as heck, but so happy I got one. Quick walk through my Disney experience at these three lines down here, virtual queues. Once you go to virtual queues, it says my queues now, but there'll be a tab for my queues, and then it just says join boarding group. It says nothing about Rise of the Resistance or Star Wars. It literally just says join boarding group. 
that's the only virtual queue on Disney, so it had to be right. So I clicked that right as, as soon as my clock hit 10, I clicked join boarding group, and I got group 19. You excited for Slinky Dog? I'm riding Slinky Dog. Hey, Maddox, you excited for Slinky Dog? Yes. Ready, Jason? Did you like it? I feel horrible. Grayson did not like it, he was so nervous. It was a lot faster than I remember because I've ridden it before. Maddox loved it. So for five, six year olds, it's great, but Grayson was way too young. He just hit the 38 inches and he loves Slinky Dog. If your kids are like around three years old, maybe hold off on Slinky Dog. Yeah. Grayson, you want to do Alien Ride? The Alien Saucers? Grayson, we're right there. It just let out of the Milwaukee. <laughs> Just changed masks. Mine was soaking wet and heavy. I actually, once it gets wet, I really struggled with breathing. I had a hard time breathing. So I finally replaced it, put a fresh one on. It's dry for now, let's see how long that lasts. As you saw, Mickey, Minnie, Daisy, Pluto just drove by. So that was a complete nice surprise. Perfect timing. The line for Mickey and Minnie's runway looks long. There's Mickey and Minnie's runway. And then to the right there is the line. It looks a lot longer because it's spaced out every six feet. So I'm gonna over, go over and ask the gentleman about how long he thinks the wait is. Now that we got a Rise of the Resistance boarding pass, that's really all we need to do as far as new stuff on our checklist for the trip, like must-dos that we wanna do. So that would be nice if we got both done, then the rest of the trip is pretty much gravy from here on out. What's my little popcorn monster doing? No. How's my little popcorn monster? Is that good? So I don't know if Molly explained, this is the new themed popcorn bucket at Hollywood Studios. It's the Onward Van. Cute movie. I really enjoyed it. How the refillable buckets work is it's $18 for this and it comes with popcorn. And then after that at every park, it's $2 to refill it. I believe they usually refill it in the bucket, but because of COVID, they fill a box and give it to you and then you technically don't have to put it in there. The kids enjoy it, but you can just eat it fresh out of the box. So that's a good deal. I'm not a big popcorn fan, but my kids love it. So I think just a regular box is a couple bucks. So you get your money's worth. If you fill this up two or three times, you feel like you get your money's worth. Mm -hmm. It tastes better in the Onward van, right? It tastes better? Um, that's a baby. Yeah. I totally forgot. I actually snagged a Olga's Cantina 1230 reservation. I think it's just like a bar with drinks. I think they do have like meat and cheese, like platter for snack, which we probably won't get, but I think they just have libations and non-alcoholic cool drinks for the kids, like slushies, blue milk, different things. I just kind of wanted the reservation to see what it was like. So we're gonna check it out, get a drink, show you guys some footage of Ogus Cantina. I heard previously it was tight in there, so I'm sure with the pandemic and the reduced capacity, it may be a little better they spread us out and I know there's some standing room only high table so I know we put that Grayson was part of the reservation and we input the age so hopefully they see that we have a little guy and they'll give us seats but I don't know we're just gonna roll with it and see what happens I still have not been inside Galaxy's Edge yet I'm waiting for Molly I don't want to go and sneak in she'll be upset if I don't wait for her but it was opening like a month after the last time we went. So it was just being finished up. So we still haven't been inside. So I'm curious. I've heard it's spectacular, so I can't wait. It is really hot over by the Mickey and Minnie runway and the gentleman said it's still about a 60 minute wait. Debating whether to wait or try again in the afternoon. We'll see. 
Grayson is going to be so excited. I finally found the elusive Mickey Pretzel. Grayson, you want Mickey Pretzel? Yeah. How is it? Right now we're entering Star Wars Land from the Toy Story. We have never been in here before. View. Maddox and I just rode Smuggler Run, the Millennium Falcon ride. It's really cool. You can either be a pilot, a gunner, or an engineer. Because of the pandemic, you have to sit with your party. Usually, I'm sure they just fill up two of each. So two pilots, two gunners, and two engineers. So we just had to bait ourselves. So we got to pick what we got, wanted to do. So we had to do the same thing together. So I got to steer the ship left and right. He got to basically steer up and down. So because it's backwards for him, towards him is up and forward is down. So it took a little getting used to. There's definitely a learning curve to it, but he loved it. He wants to do it again. It was really fun. It was like a full wide screen, like felt like you were really, really flying. It was awesome, really cool. Just got some food over by Tower of Terror. We got some chicken, we got some fries. This little guy just woke up from a nap, so he was hungry, so I wanted to get him some food. We got some water. Actually just bumped into Tim Tracker too, so it's funny. We were talking, he was checking out the orchestra, which we haven't seen yet, but we saw a video on YouTube, it was pretty cool. Molly was riding Rise of the Resistance with Maddox. I rode it first with Maddox, and then we did the rider switch, and we got to ride it again. I liked it. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I was, I don't wanna say disappointed. It was awesome, it was definitely really good. I don't know if I would wait in line for two plus hours to ride it again. The virtual queue was perfect. That would be the extent of how much I would 
how much effort I would put in to ride it. It was definitely unique, one of a kind, never been on an attraction like that, so definitely check it out. After thinking about it a little bit, I, each time you ride it probably gives a new perspective. I'm curious what Molly thinks of Rise of the Resistance. Neither of us are Star Wars fans. We've seen the movies, we enjoy them, but that's the extent of our Star Wars fandom. Tell the camera, what do you think of Rise of the Resistance? Look, why? That was fun. Look, why? Yeah. Well, why, Mommy? It was really cool. Mommy? Molly liked it. Well, Mommy. I wasn't too scared. Yeah, Mommy. I just saw yeah, Tim. Mommy. We were just talking to him. He was right was here. Was it time? And I was like, what, what are you doing today? He's like, oh, just checking out the orchestra. He's like, oh, yeah, we saw the videos. He was dancing. He's like, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Say hi to Woody. Hi, Woody. Hi, Woody. Yeah, I'm back, Woody. Hi, Woody. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Right?